Many videos will tell you that you should just be yourself, will approach and talk to more girls and then eventually you will get a girlfriend. The problem with this advice is that if you aren't attractive, you'll just be invisible to the girls you want. And even if you do manage to hang out with them, they will just friendzone you. If just being yourself was the answer, every guy would have a hot girlfriend. It takes hard work to be a guy of high value and many guys just give up and even make fun of the guys that are willing to improve themselves that want to be a high value guy. Let's be honest, most of us guys are in a range between a 4 and a 6 level of attractiveness. 0 is dead, 1 to 3 is people with diseases, 4 to 6 is average and 7 to 10 is attractive. Many of you have no starting point and are wondering how they to start. Going to clubs is getting you shut down my girls or they simply use you to get drinks at bars. Let's say you're a 5, the average guy. Until you have high value, don't even bother talking to women. Low value men are invisible to women. They are considered creepy when they try to hit on women. You will know that you are a high value guy when multiple women open you, meaning they first start to talk to you or smile at you etc. So what do you do? Where do you even start? The first step to increase your attractive levels is lifting. How many times have you seen a woman whose face was ugly but had a hot body and you thought it doesn't matter she's still hot? Women think the same. Having a great body will make up for boldness and shortness to some degree and improve your value. So if you were a 5, you are now a 6. Before you start lifting, you need to make sure your posture is okay. If not, you risk pinched nerves, bad form and injury. Look at the different types of bad postures and how to fix them. Then hit the gym, do the research. There are many workout programs to do. Step 2. Style. Until your posture is fixed from step 1, you should not be investing in new clothes. If you're a fat guy, you should wait until you think you have relatively flat abs. Then you can go shopping, try different brands and see what looks good on you. If you're buying short t-shirts, it's best to wait until your arms are big enough that the sleeves fit well. Until your chest is the widest part of your body when viewed from the side, no clothes will make you look good. Make your interests and lifestyle part of your style. Do you go motorcycling every weekend with your buddies? You should go for a biker jacket. Do you hang out with your investment broker friends at a high class New York City bars? Wear expensive suits. This is something for you to figure out on your own. Do not copy your body. Be an individual. In the beginning, a newer style will make you feel conscious. Gradually add new clothes and stop wearing the old ones. You'll need to wear your style a few times before you feel natural and comfortable in it. Having a good style and a good haircut will improve your perceived value. So that if you're a 6, you are now a 7. Congratulations. You are part of the attractive category and will most likely attract average to below average girls. If you want a 9 or a 10, your journey is not over yet. Continue to step 3. Step 3. Frame. Frame is simply the idea of yourself. For example, you know you have a strong frame when you don't feel the need to defend or explain yourself and your actions. Let's say you walk up to a girl and say, Hi, I thought you were pretty and you extend your hand to greet her. Let's say she ignores you and continue to talk to her friends. If your frame is weak, you will become self-conscious. Questions will pop in your mind like, Did I sound like a creep? Do I look weird? Maybe I'm not cool enough or muscular enough. A person with a strong frame would think, She probably didn't hear me. And if she did hear me, she doesn't know what she's missing out on. You would then proceed and greet her again. The girl, being a high value girl, will not stand for lower value guys hitting on her. And because you showed that you didn't flinch or lose confidence after being ignored, it showed that you had value. You need to develop alpha characteristics in your frame, such as abundance mentality and high value entitlement. Did you get upset when she said she does not like men under 6 feet tall? There goes your frame of being cool in the face of stress. Feel the need to demand explanation for her flaking on a date. Your abundance frame just dissolved. Practice abundance mentality by not putting girls on pedestals. Did she not show up for a date the second time? Delete a number. You're an abundant person and you know that you will get a better girl. Step 4. Game. You will need to lead the interaction and escalation. Don't expect a girl to ask you out or kiss you first. You need to make the moves and if you have incorporated an abundance mentality, you will not be afraid of rejection. The first move will be flirting, the second will be physically escalating, such as touching her arm or dancing. The next would be kissing. If you aren't escalating, nothing will happen and you will end up in the friend zone. Thank you for watching and if you like this video, subscribe to the channel.